Hello everyone, this is Robot Genie bringing you another episode of the Naj Jihad. Um, yeah, let's uh, just get going. We're just kind of waiting here um, for this war to end and some of our truces to expire so we can continue on our... Um, continue expanding. Now I wonder um, if attacking... maybe I could just attack Baluchistan? But I guess I, I probably don't want to border with the Timurids. I'm just wondering if I can fabricate claims on any of these guys and kind of... See, I can fabricate a claim on Baluchistan, but I don't want any of their land. But maybe if I can get Baluchistan to call in Gujarat, and then I could uh, maybe land ships over there. But I, it's kind of a... I'm probably thinking a little bit too far ahead because I don't even have a good navy don't have a good navy and I'm not so technologically advanced that I can land like only three people at a time and expect them to actually live it's good I like seeing these guys beat up on each other Let's see I want to know about the Timurids army oh good their manpower is going up their force limit is crazy but their manpower is dropping. Um, that's the way it was when I played the Golden Horde, and that's the way it was with the Golden Horde. It, like my force limit was like 80, but I could only field an army of 40 because it, it was too, it was too expensive in manpower and money to do anything else. So we got um, extra diplomats. The Ottomans like me, you know. They're cordial. <laughs> Which is really interesting because the um, the Mamelukes love me, even though they're my rival. I've, I've never seen the AI can. They actually switched to friendly after I made them a rival. They they weren't even friendly with me before. They were like domineering. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> the Mamelukes, they just they beat up their ar Hejaz's army and occupied one province, and they're like, ah, you know, I've had enough of this. Oh, wow. Minus 20% aggressive expansion impact. You know, the Ottomans are going to be really, really reduced in power after this. I wonder if I could just attack Hejaz and vassalize them. Well, we're going to fabricate a claim on them. Wait, are they in a coalition against me? Oh, that is... that's perfect. Because if they're in a coalition against me, that means I can... Um, I can attack Kilwa and then they'll also join and instead of taking Kilwa's stuff, I can take Hajaz's stuff. And the Ottomans won't come to help them because hopefully Kilwa will still be the war leader. And they should be, because they're uh, just as large. So, that, that'll that work out great. You know, sometimes coalitions aren't great for the player, lots of times, but sometimes they can really, really be advantageous. Um, you can use them to uh, skirt truce timers, and you can also use them to get around pesky alliances that you didn't want to deal with. And um, that's what we're going to do. As long as, you know, hopefully they don't, none of them leave the coalition. I should maybe just insult Hajaz and Kilwa just to really, really make sure that they, um, they really hate me. <laughs> okay. My Sultan Venice accepted peace with their former enemies, the Ottomans. Venice will renounce claims on Albania. Venice will give Kors Brescia to Milan. Venice will pay 52 ducats. <laughs> only the AI. You know, only only the AI would accept demands like that. You know, if I had started that war and I was losing like Venice was, <laughs> you don't have to give anything back to Milan. You can just, just wait them out. They're not. The Ottomans weren't going to be able to occupy any of Venice's land. They could have just waited them out until the length of war went high, and then and then not lost lands. But you know, they're not a human player, so it 
is what it is. Alright, I don't really want to lose legitimacy. Royal marriaging my vassals. My... See, now I'm getting pops, pop ups about Austria because the game thinks that they're, they're now important to me because they're, fight, they're, fighting my, they're fighting my ally. Or they were fighting my ally. I can't believe that happened. But we're gonna we're gonna start annexing um, Yemen. Uh, we're continuing to lose piety. We are a very unpious people at this point. Um, get some more of that manpower. That'll be uh, that's good. So we're all <laughs> we're also gonna let's reduce some more inflation. Who needed admin points anyway? Certainly not me. Now we're only at twenty percent inflation. Uh, before we were as high as um, we were as high as 38. So that's uh, that's quite an improvement. Oh, what's this mission? The city of the world's des oh, city of the world's desires, Byzantium. But they have a truce with the Ottomans uh, until 1490. So, hopefully, the Ottomans will just go right back after him. Maybe, n maybe not. Hopefully, because who are they allied with? They're allied with Serbia, Austria, and Georgia. How did they get those alliances? When I play Byzantium, nobody will ally me. I have to do stupid things like declaring no cast spilly wars in Wallachia and getting a whole bunch of vassals. But apparently the real game plan is, uh, you know, just... <laughs> the real game plan is just get Austria as an ally. Just get Austria. And then, uh, you know, then you'll live. Uh, yeah, the Timurid's opinion of me is never going to be 125. Uh, thanks, game. That's not going to happen. Uh, naval is 75% of my force limit. Uh, I have a force limit of 24. I can't see myself getting enough money to actually do that for quite some time. Let's assemble the navy here. We're going to split them. Half go one way, half go another way. So we have 23% in this node. Uh, there's a total of what it looks like almost three ducats of trade going in there. Here, there's many more, many more ducats of trade. Although it's going to take more trade power to affect it, so I, I actually just kind of, I kind of just want to trade in the Gulf of Aden, to be honest. Um. So this says it won't help, but it says that if we go. I don't know, I still think it's better to trade just right here. I'd rather keep my fleet together, because then maybe if I forget about it in a fight, um, it'll be strong enough to take out some of these guys around here. <sighs> Alright, I just checked this, and there's nothing good. So what do we get for an army? Alright, an infantry and a cavalry. That's uh, that's perfect. I think, uh, I think it's about time we drop the mercenaries and then we're gonna hire one more infantry unit because right now we are a 3-5 army I think really I think my ideal army is a 4-6 a four, six, a four, so we have 10, ten men in the army um, 4 infantry 6 cavalry would be uh, I think that's what I want to shoot for Let's uh, improve relations with Karakul and Yinlu. Alright, can I get another rival? No. No, the game was just lying to me. Um, 1496, that is so long. It's a long time from now. Hopefully... Maybe these guys will get separate pieced and not get eaten by the Mamelukes. 
and um, maybe they uh, they'll have their treaty with the Ottomans annulled. That'd be good. One can hope. How much money are we making a month? Oh, almost eight ducats. It's just more money than I've ever seen in my life. And I mean, it's probably good that we have all these truce timers because then I, instead of coring stuff, I can pay to reduce that inflation a little bit, get everything under control. Because that, that start was real, real crazy. And this is good too, the Timrids land is getting all, all occupied. Oh, they're really... They're really losing bad. I wonder if I declared war on them if the Ottomans would join me. Why wouldn't they? Ottomans is in debt. Mm, I, that's not the only reason though. Even if they weren't in debt, they wouldn't join me. I wish I could declare war on these guys to get Ethiopia has claims. Uh, Nodge peasants. Like I said before, I don't think I want to fight them. I'm just going to let them siege that land. Have it. Take it. I don't want to fight you rather have maximum manpower. If I could have 20k manpower, oh, that would be excellent. I'm making a ton of money. Be able to go up to my force limit. I never thought I would see the day. But, um, we might just, uh, yeah. That might just happen. It's, it's good not being pious. It's good. I don't think I need to take that right away. Might as well just save some Diplo points in case I need them. So I can gain 20 legitim legitimacy and Ethiopia's opinion of me drops, or I can lose 20 legitimacy, get a plus 20 opinion modifier, and get plus 10% uh, tax for five years. I mean, I don't care about their opinion of me. Um, and how much do we gain? We gain one a year of legitimacy. You know what, I think I'm going to go for the tax. We'll lose the legitimacy. I think that's okay. We still have pretty high legitimacy. If we were lower, uh, I might have cho chosen something else, but we're not. And uh, I think it's fine. We're going to want to hire um, this administrative guy. I just want more administrative points. And actually, I'm going to make a military ruler out of my air because he's just a 220. I just kind of want to have him die and re-roll, re so. Probably gonna put him in charge of, um, of something. We'll put him in charge of something, so hopefully he, he dies in a fiery death. I love to, uh, love to kill my leaders. Uh, they're still allied with the Ottomans and the Timurids. Okay, the peasants have taken over. We're going to handle them. Lose 10 prestige and national tax modifier down by 50% for 10 years. That's okay. Um, the Timurids are not at war anymore. Um, they Oh yeah, they lost some stuff. Karakoinlu uh, grew. 
Oh, you know what? Karakonlu would be my ally, so I think, um, who are their rivals? Their rivals are the Mamelukes and the Timurids, so I think, uh, I think it'd be a good idea. Normally, normally they don't do well. Um, normally they get kind of crushed, uh, but for right now, I think they're good. We want to seem strong compared to the Mamelukes or the Timurids, um, and I think that's a good way to do it. So these guys are losing to Sind and Dilly. I, it might not be a bad idea to try to try to snag Baluchistan. And then, uh, yeah, I, I think actually with my alliance right now, I could probably grab Baluchistan and have the Timurids be mad at me because if they declare war on me, I mean, I hope the Ottomans and Karakulina will honor the call come to my defense and um, they probably wouldn't honor the call in an offensive war but in a defensive war they they very well might and um, so I think we can actually go after Baluchistan so we're gonna build up to um, let's see I'm gonna want I'm gonna want seven cogs so it, it's still gonna take a little while but we're gonna start working towards it And uh, probably annex them. I mean, not annex them. We'll probably vassalize them because that—that that is also, you know, that's the trait set we are going for. We get influence ideas. It's based all on diplo annexing, and that's what we're going to be doing. We can't do it down here in Africa because they're too low of tech. That's all right. We still want Africa, so I'm still going to pay to court, and that's where we're going to expand first. We just need more land, you know. Wherever wherever I can get land, I'm going to get land. And right now, that's down in Africa. That's the easiest place for me to expand, and that's where I'm going to go. And reduce inflation. Reduce inflation. You know, yeah, like I had said before, I considered about getting economic ideas, but it's just, I just, I used to get it all the time, but I just, I just don't like it that much anymore. Um, once we start snowballing and we get bigger, we're going to be making a ton of money anyway. We don't really need the, the bonus from uh, the idea group. So the extra money doesn't really matter. And the only thing that I would have really been getting it for then is saving admin points and reducing inflation. I mean, we are going to have a whole bunch of gold mines. Um, there's a lot of gold mines right down here. Uh, there's, there's like six of them. So that could potentially be an issue, especially right now um, because they're going to be the amount of inflation you get from gold mines is based on what percentage of income it is uh, opposed to your total tax income and it's in the beginning here when I grab them it's going to be uh, very high uh, and then as we expand it's going to get lower oh cool so now we uh, yeah now we're at negative 100 percent piety and that means we have 21k manpower and uh, our taxes, uh, our taxes are okay. Yeah, they're pretty good. Why not? I mean, at least we're making money, huh? A couple episodes ago, who would have thought? I had faith. Right. Uh, okay, we're done improving relations with Kara Koenlu, so now we're just gonna we're gonna go improve relations with the uh, with the Ottomans, because that's that's just the game that we're gonna be playing right now. It's just you know improve relations, improve relations. Try to keep everybody you know at least mildly happy with us. Oh, now look at this, Sind. Sind is now. So they're allied with Bahamas, Baharamis, or something, which is huge. Delhi, which is also big, and Malwa, which is also big. That complicates things. Because what they got, I mean, they're tech group Indians, so they 
they're pretty close in tech to me. I don't think I can just like go land six people over there and take. I'm pretty sure Bahamas there it probably has like a 20 stack. Well, they have a force limit of 16. Right now, they only have 8,000 troops. Delhi has 17, though. Like that, that could be quite a large force if nobody, if none of my allies want to join me in that fight. So I don't know if I can do that by naval landing. It'll be good to have the cogs anyway, though. So I don't regret building them. It, I feel like it's all, it's always a good idea to have naval superiority. At least against your um, your immediate enemies, it's not a bad uh, bad thing. I'm not gonna get any heavies or anything, but definitely nice having um, having the ships I need to at least project some power. Okay, you know I keep on saying I don't want rebels, and I'd rather pay pay prestige, but I'm not paying 25 prestige for six rebels, especially when I have. 75% of my manpower and a 12 stack right next door. There is a limit. You know, you you don't want to you want to pay whatever for not fighting rebels when you don't have <laughs> any manpower and you're, you know, you want to be fighting wars and stuff, but we have a truce for another 4 years because we can't directly declare war on Hejaz for fear of the Ottomans coming in because even though they got beat up they're so way stronger than we are and so that means we gotta wait to declare on Kilwa's ally here and then it's gonna pop the coalition or hopefully we can actually can we declare directly on Kilwa should actually start fabricating a claim make sure everything's ready for the time um, yeah so I can directly attack kill wall which is exactly what I'm gonna want to do because if I attack um, Mombasa directly uh, they'll call in kill as an ally but it won't unless kill takes over the war which they're I wouldn't say they're guaranteed to do in that case um, if they don't take over the war then Hejaz won't join and I want Hejaz to join and uh, Oh wow, look at that. 31 manpower and one army tradition for fortifying Tajura. So we're going to take that mission and uh, we're going to call this an episode. So thanks for joining me folks. Uh, don't forget to like or subscribe to my channel if you're liking this series. Uh, I'm going to start mentioning that because I feel like that's a good idea. And uh, you know, have a good day. See you next time.